Now that we've followed steps one and two, we blueprinted our application and we set up our databases for it, ready to find a place for our project to live. So I'm going to put that in our root of our web directory, the same place where we put PHP sandbox. So I'm going to do that on the Mac by opening up my hard drive, going to my user directory, and inside sites. And that's where I've got PHP sandbox, and I'm just going to create a new folder there. File, new folder. And I'm going to call it widget corp. Now, if you're on a PC, you're going to do the same thing. You'll create a folder inside WAMP slash www, same place where we have the PHP sandbox. So now, since we're going to be using this a lot, just like we did for the sandbox, I'm going to go ahead and create an alias for it as well. So I'll do make alias, just like we did for the other one, and drag that over here to my desktop. And now we'll be able to get to that and be able to quickly work on our files. So I can actually close that window and test my alias. Now, if you're on a, a Windows machine, you're going to right-click and drag it to your desktop and then choose Make Shortcut. So in addition to creating my project folder, I'm going to go ahead and create a few other folders in here. And whenever I start a project, a new PHP project, these are the folders that I always start with. I'm going to do New Folder, and I'm going to note here also that there's a shortcut for New Folder, which I'll be using from now on. And that's going to be the Shift and the Apple key or the little flower symbol with an N. And I'll be using that from now on to create a new folder. And the first folder I'm going to create is going to be called Images, because most websites have images, right? And I'll actually switch my view here to be the List view. We can get rid of that. All right. So now we have our Images folder. I'll use the shortcut of the Shift Apple N, and we'll make our next folder, which is going to be JavaScripts. And even if I'm not using JavaScripts, I go ahead and create the folder for it so that I already have a place if someone else comes to my code or something like that, they know where they can put the JavaScripts. And then the next one I'm going to make is going to be called Style Sheets. And that's where I'm going to put my style sheets. Hopefully you're using cascading style sheets. If not, I encourage you to start learning about them. We're going to be using them, but not in such a way that it's going to be burdensome. If you aren't familiar with cascading style sheets, we're not going to rely on them heavily, so you'll be able to follow along. And then next I'm going to also do another folder, which I'm going to call Includes. Now, these are going to be the bits of code that I'm going to include. We learned how to include and require, and I'm going to be using that as we develop our site, and all of those bits of code that I'll include will go in that includes folder. Now, I might come up with other folders that allow me to include data as well, but this is going to be the basic place where I'm going to put my include files. You could also call it shared or something like that. Now that I have this basic structure together, I'm ready to actually create some pages. So I'm going to go ahead and just create three quick pages in here. I'm going to open up my text editor, and, and I'm also going to go ahead and go back to my PHP sandbox and open up that basic HTML that we were using earlier and just grab that basic HTML out of there. I'll just copy it using Apple C, close the window. Oops, I lost my new one. There we go. So a new window, paste that in, and then let's save that in our new place. So not in PHP sandbox anymore. I've got a backup to sites and inside widget corp and I'm just going to call this index.php and that's going to be the basic index file that someone will get if they try and go into widget corp and then I'll just do a quick save as on that and make a new one which I'll call staff and that's that staff page that I showed you in the example when I logged in successfully it'll end up containing our menu and let's go ahead and create a third one We'll just do that with save as again. And we're going to call this one content.php because we said that's the first area we're going to start working in. We're going to start building out our content. So now I've got three files that just have basic HTML in them. I can try them out in my browser. Close up PHP Sandbox. There we are. So now we can see that these are going to exist in the root level here, and I'm going to reference things inside these folders whenever I need to, whenever I need to pull in an image or some JavaScript or a style sheet or anything like that. So that's the basic process that I go through whenever I'm starting a new project and setting up, is I create the basic folder where it's going to live, create these few subfolders inside of it, and then the first couple of pages I go ahead and drop in a template for them so that I have sort of a landing pad for my code as I write it. And now we're ready to start coding with PHP.